Yeah. Well, Josh, how's the first day? Uh, it was good. Um, I feel like we we won the day today. We went out. Uh, we we got better today. Um, just focus on the the little details that we need to clean up. What's the biggest challenge you guys have this fall? Um, I say the biggest challenge for us would be, uh, cause last year I say we 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 had a, a mixed team. I say this year we'll we'll have a veteran team. So, um, Coach Taylor always talks about um how a veteran team has to do well handling uh, boredom. So um, boredom is considered like when you've, um, you've been working on the fundamentals for so long, like you, you're, you've been good at them. So it's just continuing to perfect your craft. Um, yeah. What are the advantages of having so many veteran guys on that offense? How does that help you out as you get started with the new camp here? Um, it, it helps out a lot. Cause I feel like uh, being vets, everybody has a good amount of playing experience. So I feel like um, with, with, different people playing in those different positions you got different experiences so you can feed off each other with that where do you see the vocal leadership coming from within that group anybody who jumps out in that way uh the receiver group uh yeah and or the offense as a whole for the offense um for, for the offense i say is uh is frank uh me uh jtz um as far as the o-line maka kd uh, man, it's, it's hard not to put the whole line on there, to be honest. But, yeah, I feel like we feed off each other. Everybody talks, so, yeah. How difficult is the season going to be? The receiving core is stacked. you got great running backs. There's only one ball to go around. I mean, that's got to be sometimes a little bit frustrating from the standpoint of, hey, man, I'm, I'm open. It was a great catch, but I, I, I could have scored there. How do you guys juggle that around there? Uh, I, I feel like that goes to – uh, one of our culture pillars of being selfless. Um, like you say, it's only one ball. So like, um, you gotta look at it both ways. He want the ball too, or I want the ball. So like, whoever it goes to, as, as long as like we're doing our job and helping the team, we should be satisfied with it. Josh, tell me about this new uh, look defensive backfield you go up against. A lot, a lot, a lot of new guys back there. What, what's it like going against those guys? Uh, sure, I, I like it because it's, it's new competition. You don't see the the same thing you've been seeing for the last year. So um, by them bringing Tony in and uh, the freshman Alpha and um, Nick, uh, Dewan is starting to he he's playing with us more. So uh, just seeing those guys, you getting different looks. So it it helps you. Um, uh, change your look like you can't give every DB the same uh, release or you know what I'm saying how you get open so it just helps us diversify our routes. How do you feel about your individual growth as a player from last year to now what's different about you? Um, Again I feel like the same thing I was working on last year Um, I feel like I have to display more uh, yards after catch Um, so I continuing I've been continuing to work on uh, running with the ball in my hand uh, being agile with the ball in my hand, so um, uh, you'll see that on film. I know in the spring you also mentioned high pointing the ball and kind of routing yeah. your tail. How have you continued to target those areas? Um, just uh, going going back to the basics of route running and uh, like how to get in and in and out of my breaks. Um, going to the beginning stance and start um, releases. You know, just really breaking it down. Uh, that's really it. You see anything different with either Zakari or JT? How have those guys grown? Uh, shoot, man. I feel like I feel like it's the same thing. Uh, they just the little things continue to get better at the little things. I feel like that's what makes you a pro, because um, everything is like everything to make you good. I feel like is little. So um, just focusing on those little, de focusing on those little details. And you guys have Vernon Brady back in the fold now to help out the offense. What does he bring to your group? Uh, experience again. I feel like he's one of those vets. Um, man, five is, is, is huge in that. Um, uh, I feel like, I feel like he's, um, I feel like, I feel like he, I feel like he can get the job done. Um, everybody talked about sincere, but, um, I feel like he was slept on. I feel like that's the word. I couldn't, couldn't find a word to, to, uh, describe B. Brady, but I feel like he was slept on. I feel like he's going to wake up a lot of people. How about Frank Harris? I know he keeps growing and developing. What jumps out about his play? Yeah, um, he, he's continuing uh, to to work on accuracy, uh, moving, throwing on a run, um, all the above. You know, just continue to get better, focus on, focusing on the little things. He was saying at media day that he actually sees better now that he has this LASIK surgery. Do you notice a difference? Like, is he yeah. figuring you guys out better? Or? Yeah, so I feel, <laughs> I feel like he speed, it speed, speeds him up a little bit. Um, like you say, he can see. So, like, he's not... Uh, 
he's not late, you know, so <laughs> you can see. Josh, you guys got a new uh, wide receiver coach in the spring, but uh, it's been a guy that's been here with you guys. What's it like been getting to work with uh, Joe Price? Um, I feel like he bring, he brings an insane amount of juice. Uh, today he he came in a, in a meeting room like screaming like it was crazy. Um, six in the morning, so, yeah, right? Yeah, six, we had to be here at six. So, um, so the the juice he brings is crazy, and um, I feel like the uh, the fundamentals of blocking he brings uh, to the game as well too. Um, not just uh, running routes, you know, because it's two parts of uh, being a receiver with being with the ball in your hand and uh, when it's not. So I feel like he helps with both of those things. Part of that is Coach Stein going to the coordinator role. Do you see any difference with the offense? Anticipate any changes because of that? Um, I feel like it'll be. I, I don't think it'll be a huge difference. Um, we have new. I, we have a lot of like new plays, of course. But um, as far as culture, running, running, um, uh, like inside zone, like everybody does that, you know. So. Um, I feel like it, it goes back to just being very detailed and executing. One of the things Coach Trailer has stressed already this year is the concept of being built to last. You know, what does that mean to you and how much do you guys talk about that? Uh, we, we talk about it every day. So like basically our motto for this year is um, the bull don't care. So like bull riders, well, yeah, bull riders got to ride like, um, I guess like a different bull or the same bull, it doesn't matter. Um, but like the bull's going to buck basically and he's going to try to get the rider off. So. Um, Basically, any other team. Last year, we went 12, 12 and two or whatever. That was a good year. Um, nobody cares. Like we got to start from square one again and go, go try to go undefeated again. So um, it's just that mentality of uh, like nobody cares what we did last year. This year, we got to re repeat it and prove to everybody again. Like we can do it again. The team's talked a lot about like pressure is a privilege. What's the mentality of this team going in? Is there? piece almost like knowing if you're starting from scratch is, or do you feel that pressure at all uh me personally i don't i don't really feel any pressure because um i feel like everything everything has to do with us so like if we go out and do our job if we go out and we execute if we go out put our hands on the outside pad when we have outside zone we'll be fine i feel like it just goes back to the little details that we always work on all right thanks josh thank you, josh. Thank you.